What an absolute cracker of a view. And I'm guessing somewhere down there I'm heading. I haven't really got much to go on today apart from a set of coordinates. I was on Facebook last night flicking through. Somebody asked for a location of a crashed plane somewhere on the Arm River track. Straight away, me being a little kid I am, right, let's find it. So, today, I'm heading that way. Let's see what we find. Open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up. Hear the funny stories about that now is taking people to random places. Oh, One thing that's taking me to pretty cool places. As the sign says, it's not the way to Cradle Mountain. Hydro Tasmania. It's one of their many dams around the state. And it's just spectacular. But for now, keep on pushing up through here, try to find the track, the Arm River track. I have no idea if I'm on the right road, no signal. Let's hope for the best, eh? Sad words be spoken, and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the not very often I regret these little crazy spontaneous adventures, but really regret this. Literally in the middle of nowhere. If I was to hike out of here, if someone went wrong, it would be days, not hours. Uh, yeah, this is this is stupid on my part, to be honest. I didn't realise the track was going to be like this, and there's just there's no turn around spots. Once you're in, you're in, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Plane better be worth it. Watch out. Grub. Gonna go camping, take a frickin' rubbish home. One of my pet hates. Especially in a beautiful part of the world like this. Didn't bring my drone. Idiot. Yeah, this is stunning. It is getting a bit full on though, I'll be honest. I'm not equipped for this. Nor did I tell anyone exactly where I was going. I just told them I'm going plane hunting. Oh dear. We're still about 18 k's away apparently. Don't know, don't know. So I'm gonna call it quits. I'm just not equipped for this. And with another 15k to go, or 14k. No. Have to turn around, unfortunately. Try to find another way. Sometimes you just have to make the bigger choice and yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. Those places where you try to hide, I promise I will try to find I got a no idea why when Satan took me the other way. If I just followed the signs before I would have been here hours ago. I'm done a lot less damage on my you. Hey ho. Here's the start. Let's see if we can find this plane, eh?
So, it's a bit of a full on morning. We're finally on it. The Arm River track. Now, I've heard about this track before, it's never really clicked in my head. I haven't done much research right here. This leads up to New Pallion Hut. New Pallion Hut, as anyone from Tasmania will probably know, forms part of the Overland track. It's a beautiful hut, absolutely stunning. Right this time last year, actually, I was just about to start the Overland track. The difference is, conditions couldn't be more different. We have weather warnings out, road closed, and the full blanket of snow all over the ground. To the point when we were going over the top on the first day to Kitchen Hut, we're down to a waist deep in snow. See if I can add a few pictures or videos as well behind this now, just so I can. I didn't do a lot of filming because it really was life or death at one point. I think out of 23, 24 people, five of us set off on the first day. Two of us made it to the first hut. Now, I don't know if that's something to brag about or whether it's just stupidity that got us through that day, but definitely an eye opener. And to see it like this now, admittedly this isn't part of the overland, but very similar. And it's nice to be able to see where I'm walking, not just sort of guessing. All right. See if we can find this plane. So sort of putting my I'm trying to rush this a bit at the moment. Very wary of the time. It's about quarter to two at the moment. And I reckon I'm about halfway to the coordinates I have. So yeah, that's why I'm panting a bit, I'll be honest. I'm jogging a lot of this where I can. Fingers crossed we'll make it back to the Ute before nightfall. Oh dear. set of coordinates on that picture so when you get to that part the arm um, river track look to your left and that looks very similar to there as well as that it's got to be right here somewhere okay I take it back that definitely there even the logs on the side right so we're definitely at that point uh, best thing to give you is when you get here on the arm river track have a look to the start of the track on the left before the next bit of boardwalk right so i don't know if that means carry on at the moment i'm passing the location but obviously one i'm not going to go walk into a bush that's the start of a bloody Newspaper article. But. Okay, so boardwalk there. Well, wow, it's dense. I think I'm on it. <laughs> I think this is it. If you can see that, can't find it. I search all the way around. I 
I'll see my signals just bouncing. Well, not signal GPS, but I cannot find it. Man, that's disappointing. Really is disappointing. I mean, it's got to be around here somewhere, but I might just have to come back another day. That's a shit, that is. I don't even know you'd not land a plane, crash a plane there. It's so dense. But man. I'll tell you how to film. They survived. Walked out of here. How? No idea. Damn it. Yeah, well. Oh. Bloody roots. I didn't notice that. Was I on the wrong track? I went that way. Is this a track? I don't know if you can see that. What is that? Sometimes don't give up. <laughs> Where? Where? Where, 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 where? Oh, I can't believe it. Not much left of the old girl, I'll be honest. That is... <laughs> How on earth do they survive this? I mean... <sighs> Don't give up straight away. Give up that extra five minutes. Shit you. Right, mission complete. Trouble is now, got to find our way out of this maze. Everything looks the same. You can easily get lost in a place like this. Make sure you've got GPS. Don't do what I do. I'm not telling anyone the location of where you're going. You'll be right. Definitely test your fitness anyway. I think I had one too many beers last night, I'll be honest. That's probably the end for today anyway. I'm gonna really push on. Try to get back to the ute before it gets too late. Thanks a lot for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Quick, spontaneous little adventure. Yeah. Always keep a bit of spontaneity in your life. It's, I think it keeps you young, it keeps things exciting. It's just fun. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. Today's been a mixture of emotions, let's be honest. But thanks. Appreciate all the comments and all the different adventure ideas as well. I'm loving that. And yeah, catch you guys next time.